Hello friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. Today's video is going to be my first impressions with the new Musée Beauty palette. I looked up pronunciations, I practiced for a while. If I'm correct, it's the Le Jardin palette. I I'm very sorry if I butchered that. <laughs> I really tried to practice. I'm very American. But yeah, this is the new Musée Beauty palette. It is the Garden palette, and I'm very excited. This is a limited edition palette. As of right now, they recently updated on Instagram that they're running low on the limited edition quantity of this. I have no clue how much of this will be available by the time I upload it tomorrow. Hopefully there will still be some stock left if you are interested, but just understand that it is limited edition. If you do feel like picking up this palette or anything off their site, I do have an affiliate code with Musée Beauty. It's Beauty Bean in all caps. You will save 10%. I'll make a small commission, no pressure, but it's there if you want to use it. Thank you so much to the brand for sending over this palette. I'm very excited. I like how small and sleek this is. You guys know I'm a sucker for a nine pan. I'm really excited about trying a new palette from them because I'm obsessed with this brand. I think they do such a good job. I'm going to do a video in the near future where I rank everything from the brand so far and I'm really excited about that video because I've been loving everything. <laughs> all right, so the packaging is absolutely beautiful. I love all the colors. It is absolutely stunning. I just think it's beautiful. And then on the inside, we have the cutest nine pan color story. It is a spring dream. This is what I live for when it comes to spring colors, especially this year. This is just what I'm into. I'm very excited. We have a nice mix of mattes and shimmers. There is a like a sequency kind of shade, which is like a matte with glitters pressed into it, but no pressed glitters, nothing like that. I'm very excited about this. I'm excited about the look I created. I'm excited about playing with this more. I definitely will be doing an Instagram video at some point. I can try to do a two looks, one palette if you guys are interested in seeing that. I have a lot of filming to do, a lot of pre-filming amidst my preparation for my move, but if enough of you want to see it, I can try to bust out a two looks video at some point. Just let me know your thoughts. Before we hop into the video itself, this is of course just a first impression. It's not a full review. It's my first and only time using the palette. However, I am pretty familiar with the brand at this point and I did use every single shade on my eyes. So I feel like I'll have pretty thorough thoughts, but just keep in mind it is my first and only time playing with it. And also just my jewelry details today. These uh, plugs are from Here No Evil Jewelry on Etsy. You can use my non-affiliated discount code BeautBean for 10% off. This is a Christmas brand wig. Check my FAQ in the description box if you need spelling. And this is a CC brand beanie. So yeah, without further ado, let's just hop in, create this very colorful springy look, and I'll give you my thoughts thus far at the end of the video. Hi, hello, how's it going? I am so excited to film with this palette, you have no idea. I'm excited to film in general. It's been like four days since I filmed, which is a record for me. I've just been swamped with work and packing and had no time to film. So here we are, it is Saturday evening. Today is Saturday the 6th, it is 6 p.m. and I'm filming with this palette. I think I'm gonna have this video up tomorrow because I really wanted a video up before they completely sell out because I know stock is getting limited. It just got delivered today or I would have found a way to film with this sooner. So sorry my video didn't go up sooner, it's just, the mail had my palette hostage, what can I say? <laughs> was stuck in Texas for a few days. I'm priming with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I'm gonna blend it out and I'm not gonna set it because I don't prefer to do that. By the way, really quick, I used the Dahlia shade as my blush and it's very cute. It's very light, but it's very cute. I like it, just had to quickly throw that out there. So really, I wanna use every shade. <laughs> I just can't narrow it down, so I wanna to try to use all of them. I wanna start with the purples. I'm gonna start with the darker one in my outer corner and then really blow it out with the lavender shade. So let's do that. I'm gonna take the darker of the two purples on this OMFG brush. I feel like it's probably not so much that it's darker, it's just a different tone. It's a warmer shade of purple, whereas the other one is more lavender, a little bit more cool toned. But that's kind of my plan, is to have that more tucked here and then let the lavender blow it out. I love Musée Beauty's formula. I think it's beautiful, so I'm so pumped about this palette. And I feel like I'm really feeling the spring colors right now. I feel like as soon as March hits, I'm always into spring tones. And this palette just really does it for me. Okay, I'm taking the lavender now on this ColourPop E2 brush, yeah. I feel like I have different feelings about spring colors this year. Like I'm always down for pastels pretty much year round, but I feel like pastels aren't really gonna be my thing. I want a little bit more vibrancy this year. And I feel like greens, purples, and pinks, peaches also are gonna be like my main gig. I'm just predicting what I'm gonna enjoy this spring. <laughs> oh yes, look at those two purples together. Oh yes, beautiful, beautiful. 
I hope you're doing well. What are you up to today? I worked all day, got home, went on a two mile jog, and now I'm here. And then I'm gonna eat tacos because that's what I want for dinner tonight. I'm gonna make some tacos after this video. I love that. Oh, I love purples. I wanna take the green now and I wanna pop that a little in the front portion of my crease. I'm gonna be a little careful because green and purple, they're not total opposites on the color wheel, but they're pretty far apart. So you have to be a little careful when playing with colors like that because sometimes they can muddy out. But as long as I am strategic with my placement and I'm not trying that hard to make these shades merge into one, then we should be good. Because really, I just want a pop of green here. I'm probably gonna use the shimmer green as my inner corner highlight. Yes, just a slight little kiss of green, nothing too crazy. Just gonna re-add some lavender right here. Ah, oh, yes. I loves it already. I wanna take the carnation shade now. I'm gonna pop that on my lower lash line and blend that out with the Dahlia shade, the pink. I'm going to, this is a smudge brush from Illamasqua, by the way. I want this right up against the lashes. Ooh, these colors are making me so happy. That's so vibrant. Okay, now taking Dahlia, the pink. I feel like I'm whizzing through it, but it's because I'm very excited right now. Um, that's just how I'm feeling. So I'm taking the Dahlia shade on this S2 brush from Kaleidos. This is one of those more like sequin shadow shades like ColourPop does where it's a matte with sparkle pressed in it. Not my preference. I would just prefer it to be a matte, you know? But I just pretend these shades are mattes. They don't really make me that mad at this point. They used to make me mad. I used to rebel against it, but now I just, I just pretend it's matte and it's not the end of the world. If some sparkle sticks around cool, most of the time it doesn't. And I will check that right now for you just to test this formula. Yeah, the sparkle is really not there. So I'm just pretending it's a matte and going to town on this outer corner specifically. I really want this to merge in with my blush and highlight. Ooh, yes, looks so good. Really quick, I just realized I didn't brow gel my brows. So they're flopping down all kinds of ways, throwing in my NYX brow glue in them so they can actually go the right direction. Goodness, Betty Jean, get it together. All right, back to blowing out the pink lower lash line. Yes, ma'am, that is gorgeous, gorgeous, lovely. Mm, that's beautiful. Okay, well, now I wanna do some half cut creasy stuff. I think I want to cut it with peony and then have it fade down into violet. A little pinky purple moments. I think that'll be cute. I'm just going to plop some of my NYX glitter glue with a flat brush across my lid. I personally kind of go right above my natural crease and I follow the roundness of my eyeball, like so. Just like that. All right, I'm taking peony first, so that cute, cute pink. I can't wait to move. I can't wait to move. I'm following this right at the cut. I love Musée Beauty's shimmer formula. I think it's gorgeous, gorgeous, beautiful. And I love this color of pink. That's so cute. I'm so excited. When you go a few days without playing with makeup, when you love playing with makeup as much as I do, wow, I feel like myself again. I've just been doing like brows, a couple fake freckles, and some mascara the last few days. And that is not my vibe. I do not go that bare, but I've just been busy with work. Mask covers half my face anyways, and I knew I didn't have time to film, so. I just gave it the bare minimum, but man, do I feel myself. This is so pretty. I love that shade of pink. Okay, now violet, the purple. I'm honestly just gonna take it on my finger because I'm impatient and I want this on now. That's cute. Their shimmers aren't like the most insane foiled shimmers, but they're just really pretty. They look very, I almost wanna say delicate, but that almost makes it sound like they're weak because they're not weak shimmers. They're just very like shiny. They're not glitzy, but they're very shiny and wet looking. Oh, look at that pink purple combo. I love it with that warm lower lash line and then the pop of green. It's doing good things. <laughs> 
So now I wanna take Begonia, this kind of shimmery orangey coral. I'm just gonna take that on the smudgy brush I used before. And I'm gonna pop some of that in my lower lash line, just in the front little portion. Just to add some of the shimmer in. You guys know I love some shimmer on the lower lash line. I think it's so beautiful. Oh yes. And finally, last but not least is basil. I'm gonna take that on my pinky. Oh yes, that's so cute. I don't think it's meant to be an inner corner highlight, especially on my ghostly skin, but I think a pop of color in the inner corner is so cute and fun, so. Ooh, that made that green matte in my front crease, I feel like pop even more. This is so cute. I feel like a garden, which I know that's what the palette is. That's what it translates to, but that's what I am. <laughs> I'm gonna repeat this on the other eye, throw my lashes, eye pencil, and lips, and I'll be back when I'm complete so we can finish it up and chat about the look. All right, this is the look complete. I feel so cute. I think this is such a pretty look. I love how this came out. I feel like as of right now, my only critique is I wish there was a darker matte in the palette just to deepen up the look even further, but it's beautiful on its own. I really like how this came out. The eye pencil I paired with this is Emerald Cut from NYX. I really wanted to bring in more of that green. My lashes are the Queenie lashes from ColourPop, but chopped in half just as like outer corner lashes. I just didn't feel like fussing with full lashes today. And on my lips, I went with the Slacker ColourPop Lippy Stick. I just felt like it kind of went with that lower lash line and I like it. I like this look a lot. <laughs> All right, let's zoom out and I'll give you my thoughts on the palette so far. All right, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. What did you think? What do you think of my look? What do you think of the palette? I wanna hear all your thoughts. I'm really excited about this palette. I love how sleek and small the packaging is on this one because the Van Gogh palette was a bit thicker. I like how tiny this one is. I hope this trend stays around. Love the nine pan. Of course, you guys already know, I love a nine pan color story. I think the colors are so cute. I truly think my only critique is I wish there was like a darker matte in here or even just like if one of the purples was a little bit darker but for the most part I really like this. I think it's a lot of fun. I had a great time with the formula. It's as easy to use as the other palettes. I, I'm i really excited. I think this color story is bright and fun and exciting and springy without it being too predictable. It's not like a typical spring palette you see. It's not just pastels again. I really like this. I think it's really cute. I really wish it wasn't limited edition because I think this would be a really nice one just to have in their lineup permanently, but you know, it is their choice at the end of the day. But so far I'm really enjoying it. I'm excited to film an Instagram video at some point. I'd love to know if you picked that palette up. Do you wanna pick it up? I wanna hear all of your thoughts down below. If you made it to the end of this video, leave me a flower emoji because it is the Le Jardin palette for the garden. <laughs> Leave me a flower emoji if you made it to the end. And if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not already, please hop over to my Instagram. It's Butte Bean. Follow me there. I post every single day. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm posting most days here as well. Please make sure you're staying informed with everything that's going on in the world. There will be links in my description box that will take you to information and resources and ways in which you can help. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, bye.